Guys, screw over. We exercise you to do uh, this week is a one-legged kettlebell swing. This is how we're going to do it. So, new guys, don't worry. You're not going to be doing this. You're just going to be doing a a, a one-legged stiff leg movement um, like this. So you'll be holding on to the barrier or the wall, sorry, and you're just going to perform this movement here. And what we're trying to do with this is just hip hinge over and really target this one hamstring uh, or this one leg, sorry, just at the front. Okay, so that's the movement there. Okay, but for those that are comfortable with these sort of movements and hip hinges, you're going to try a one-legged kettlebell swing. So you're going to pick it up. You want to get a bit of momentum to start this. So swing it back like this, and then hinge through. Hinge through. You don't need to do the knee drive, by the way. I just do that automatically. But so <coughs> that's the movement there. Pop the hip. So in this case, it's a left hip. Driving it forward like this. <coughs> And you're just going to do this for about 15 to 20 reps. I really like this exercise. I don't do it enough. Um, obviously, it really isolates the targets the hamstring, but I also find when you're holding onto the wall, you're really able to fully extend through the hip really effectively, in some ways more effectively than a double kettlebell swing. And you'll actually feel your, well, you may feel your hip flexor muscles here, getting like a sort of stretch. A uh, sort of group stretch at the top of the movement because uh, you haven't extended. So just make sure that you're finishing there. It's not a sort of swing through, okay, or a arch to lower back. It's a very stop. Similar to hip thrust, so you're stopping right with the pelvic tuck, abs engaged, like that. Really, really nice exercise. And feel it by the glutes, hammies, and like I said, you might even feel a wee stretch up here, the hip flexors.